Now that you understand the drawbacks of using 2D echo to assess the left ventricle, we can move on to final display and analysis. In this med mastery lesson, you'll learn how to use 3D echo to assess the left ventricle. Precise assessment of volume, function, geometry, and mass is crucial for the clinical management of patients with heart disease. 3D analysis of the left ventricle requires several steps. First, the echocardiography machine identifies specific landmarks like the mitral ring and the left ventricular apex on the image. You can also identify landmarks manually. Then the volumetric dataset is segmented into 2D orthogonal views. And finally, the endocardial borders are manually corrected. Lastly, the 3D volumetric cast is generated. Let's see how the left ventricular geometry and volume are determined. The latest generation of 3D echocardiography machines are equipped with software which allows semi-automated or fully automated detection of the left ventricle endocardial border so that the left ventricular volume and geometry can be calculated faster and more accurately. Here you can see an example of 3D echo quantification of a left ventricular volume. After having identified the endocardial border on the three apical slices, you can see that they share the same apex and there is no foreshortening. The end diastolic volume is 150 milliliters. The end systolic volume is 61 milliliters and the ejection fraction is 59%. So this is the normally functioning left ventricle. The software then automatically detects the whole endocardial surface. Once confirmed by the operator, a 3D cast of the left ventricle is developed. The volume is then measured by counting the voxels contained within the left ventricular cast. The ejection fraction used to evaluate left ventricular function can also be determined from 3D echo. With real-time imaging, don't be surprised that the ejection fraction may vary from beat to beat. Usually, I use three beats in sinus rhythm to obtain an average that can be used as a global ejection fraction. This is an example of how a 3D cast of an impaired left ventricle can look. The global ejection fraction is only 30%, indicating severe impairment of left ventricular function. Cardiac remodeling refers to changes in the size, geometry, structure, and function of the heart. This can happen as a result of exercise, physiological remodeling, or after injury to the heart muscle, pathological remodeling. Remodeling of the heart can be evaluated by performing an echocardiogram to assess the size and function of the atria and ventricles. The left ventricle, seen in transverse cross-section, can remodel in many different patterns, based on the ratio between left ventricular mass and the thickness of the posterior wall. This is important to know as different left ventricle patterns have varying prognoses. As you have seen already, in 3D echo, accurate measurements of the left ventricular volume can be performed from the endocardial left ventricular surface. This enables calculation of the left ventricular mass using a simple formula without any geometrical assumption about the left ventricle's shape. In idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy, for example, the echocardiography machine will trace the endocardial contours to determine the left ventricular mass. Then the 3D left ventricular cast will be generated, showing a globular left ventricle that has lost its normal shape. In summary, 3D echo can aid in the assessment of left ventricular volume, function, geometry, and mass, since it allows you to view the true left ventricular shape and the limitations of 2D echo are overcome. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video.
So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.